Hey, Jay here, Dirt Bike TV. We got a tech tip for you with you guys with your older KTM, Husqvarna gas gas engines, about the last 10 years, 2012 through 22 range, these, 20, these 250 and 350 engines have these little half moon or teardrop areas at the valve cover, and they like to weep and kind of cry. We call it crying right here because the KTMs are making so much power, they're starting to cry, and they start to seep out a little oil coming down right here. Um, this engine's out, it's getting ready to go back in. We had the valve cover off anyway, so my buddy David's gonna, he's a KTM expert, he's gonna give us a little tip on sealing this up proper with a new gasket. We're gonna show you how to do that. You can do it in the bike um, and do it. It's just for ease of this video, it'd be a lot easier since this thing's on the bench. So if it's, you could do all this on the bike and it wouldn't be too bad. So we're gonna turn it over to David and you can get some tips on how to do this. Here we go, David, let's go. All right, guys, we're gonna show you how to, um, Put your valve cover gasket on usually it'll have a little weep here so we're going to use like an rtv and the little teardrops that's the the whole trick is just to stop it um from leaking there so first things first always get the the surfaces clean a little contact cleaner get all this cleaned up wiped out you don't want any oil or, or the rtv won't bond to it so all our surface is clean um we got a new gasket here so it just sits into the groove all the way. 250, 350 will be really similar. The 250 has bigger rubber um, teardrops. So you just get it pushed in all the way around. Fits in nice, not gonna fall out when you turn it upside down. Um, some people put it all the way around here. There's not much need to do it. it it's usually just here, you'll have a little weep. So even, even what comes out of it is just a residue. You'll see a little dust will stick to it. So RTV is the, the way to do it so also on this um, <clears throat> we have a gasket here so this guy will sit on here don't forget that or you'll have a leak what it'll do is it'll go down into the spark plug cap and then it'll actually come I've, I've had people write me about this so it'll come out here you'll be wondering why this is actually a hole like for water to come out if any water got down in your spark plug cap it comes out if you have this off oil is going to come down and around and seep out here and then you're wondering what it is also in here pop this out there's some o-rings in here also so if you do have a leak and this guy's here there's two o-rings in here and then just a little assembly lube to put this back in and then don't pinch the o-ring clip it all down fully and you can put this and no seal sealant. on no sealant needed here it's not needed no it seals good and then on your bolts for the valve cover always good to put new new washers on too you can see they're rubber so it's always good in case they get perished and hard so new and rubbers are always Let, good let's show that step yeah so it'll only go not that it'll only go one way but you want to put it the right way so you can see see the step here that's going to go into the valve cover here so make sure you get the step going that way very good okay so that's all prepped assembled clean now we're going to put the rtv in there And with this job, more is not better. You don't want to you don't want to put this on, put a lot on here, put the valve cover on, then it oozes down here and blocks some of your oil pump. So be be like kind of sparing on it. Don't go crazy. So we're going to put it all along here, and then we're going to just wipe it in. You don't want to go too much because it'll it'll go into the head. All right, here's the messy part. Yeah, no way around this really. Nope, no way around it. Yeah. If you don't like dirty hands, <laughs> maybe you need a new sport. <laughs> or gloves. <laughs> yeah. Electric bike. Yeah. Okay. So you can see you not not a whole lot because you just don't want it to to ooze in there as you tighten yeah, it up. People don't realize that these oil pumps are very small. You get a little little bit of residue clogging everything up, it can be game over. Okay. So see that? not like crazy just enough to to wipe it over and then we can wipe off any excess on the outside and then put your valve cover back on um you need to check your manual for your torque specs this one is eight newton meters so not not everyone's going to be that you can check your torque specs in your manual um if you're working on a ktm ktm has a good website ktmmanual.com and then you just put in put in your um your model and then it will have all your information on torque spec so you can see, you know, it just sits in there nice. We're gonna get our valve cover bolts back on. And of course, if you're doing this in the engine, a little, in, in the frame, 
It's actually not too bad. It's 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 easy enough to get in there. You can still get your torque wrench in. You oh, know, you there's enough room. Tell them about blowing off the. Oh fire. yeah, yeah. Because what you'll see is up here yeah. when when you take this off, you're going to have a lot of dirt in here. You almost could put grass seed and grow in there. There's so much dirt in there. It's just just the way it is. It collects. So mm -hmm. you need to clean off all that. And then actually, there's going to be a wearing harness that runs down. A lot of times, people. Um, they're working on to hit the wearing harness and it could be like little pieces of grit will drop down on the engine. Right. Biggest thing if you're if you're doing a valve adjustment and you're doing this valve cover, keep it clean. Don't yeah. do more damage than good. That this is the most important thing. Keep it all clean inside. Don't put debris in there and then your your bike's gonna run a long time. I like I like to blow off those wires with compressed air, move all those wires around in the harness, blow them all off really good. Yep. I've had over the years guys break these off in Hondas and different bikes. And if you're screwed into aluminum, the cam caps on the head is aluminum. Don't go too crazy on it because you'll strip them out real easy and you don't want to have to go get a time search. So eight newton meters is the torque. We're gonna snug them up. You don't wanna go you don't wanna go any more than that or you'll you'll have issues. Yeah. You can see it's a little tight because we're comp compressing the rubber. So you can switch over to another one and then go halfway with that and then go to the next one and work around. You like that torque wrench? Oh yeah, real nice, yeah. I was an old school click one, I've been using this a lot lately and it's definitely, definitely nice. Okay, so we're all torqued down. Um, you're gonna see there's a little bit of excess just on the outside here, a little dab it off, better to get it when it's wet so it doesn't dry on. And that's the trick to making your KTM happy. No more crying, you got a happy KTM, have fun riding on track and trail, guys.